Hello and welcome to another video on this channel. Diversity visa applicants usually go about asking how many visas have been issued out to applicants chargeable to their country. And so in today's video, we will be learning how to check diversity visa issuances when it comes to applicants chargeable to different countries for different periods. In order to do so, as usual, let us go over to Satish's website. Once again, on Zatisha's website, this time around to check diversity visa issuances. I must make it clear that the issuances being discussed in this video are diversity visa issuances by country of chargeability and not by embassy. If you would like to access this website, look in the description of this video. There you will find the link leading to this page. On this page, in the left menu, our interest is in the first two items, that is the monthly diversity visa issuances as well as the annual diversity visa issuances. So in case you wish to know diversity visa issuances for a specific month, then click on this first link. And it takes you to the page that shows the monthly diversity visa issuances. Currently, we have data showing for the month of December 2022, which is a part of the fiscal year 2023 and the DV 2023 program. In order to change the fiscal year, you simply use this drop down, click on it. You have fiscal years dating back to fiscal year 2017. Our interest is in the DV 2023 program, so we click on fiscal year 2023. Now, if it has to do with the month, you use the other drop down, click on it, and then you will see the different months. The data that is currently showing is for the DV 2023 program, and that is why we have only three months being displayed. As the fiscal year 2023 progresses, we will have data for subsequent months up to September 2023, which is the final month of the DV 2023 program. But that is not just going to stop there, it's also going to continue with fiscal year 2024, 2025, and so on as those years unfold. Now in this table, we have diversity visa issuances by region. What we see here is for the month of December, and so in case you wish to see for another month, you simply go back to this drop down and click on that month. Clicking on November, for example, changes the data in this table and then you have for the month of November. You can also do the same for the month of October by clicking on October and then you have the data for the month of October for the various regions. Scrolling down, you have a graphic representation of diversity visa issuances by foreign state of chargeability. So this graph is showing the countries whose applicants received the highest number of visas in October 2022. Now at the bottom of the graph, we see that the threshold is set at 30, meaning all of these countries had at least 30 applicants chargeable to them receive diversity visas during the month of October 2022. You can change this threshold by clicking on this slider and moving it to the left in case you wish to decrease the number and to the right in case you wish to increase the number. The lowest number is 10 and the highest number is 100. So currently, the graph is showing countries whose applicants received at least 10 diversity visas during the month of October 2022. Moving it to the far end shows countries whose applicants received at least 100 visas during the month of October 2022. Now, when you scroll down to the next section, you have the number of visas that were issued by foreign state of chargeability. In other words, you have 
all countries whose applicants received diversity visas during the month of October. In case you wish to see for any other month, you simply return to the top of this page where we saw those drop downs. Click on the drop down that correspond to the year and the month, and then in this table, you will have the relevant information. Now, the countries in this table are arranged in alphabetical order. This table cannot show all of the countries at once, and so in order to see other countries on the list, you simply click on the numbers that are below the table. Clicking on 2 is going to show you the next 10 countries in the list, 3 the next 10, and so on up to 8 where you see the end of the list. So this concerns monthly diversity visa issuances. Now in case your interest is the annual diversity visa issuances, you return to the left side in the left menu, click on annual DV issuances and in that instance you will be led to the page that shows the annual diversity visa issuances. Like we saw on the previous page, there are drop downs. You can choose the fiscal year but dating back to fiscal year 2017. You can also choose the region and then finally you can choose the country. You have to choose the region before you can use this final drop down. So choosing the Africa region and then using the third drop down is going to show you the list of countries that are eligible for the diversity visa 2023 program from the Africa region. If for example you wish to know the number of applicants chargeable to Algeria that have received diversity visas in the DV 2023 program, you simply click on Algeria. All right, and this graph shows the number of applicants that received diversity visas from Algeria during the month of October. The next graph shows for the month of November and then you have finally for the month of December. These are only three graphs because the data being shown so far on this page are for the first three months of the DV 2023 program. This can be done for any fiscal year dating back to fiscal year 2017 for any region and then any eligible country during that fiscal year. So that is how you go about checking annual diversity visa issuances. Do not forget you use these drop downs to choose the fiscal year concerned, the region concerned and then the country from that region. So that is how you go about discovering how many diversity visas have been issued out to applicants chargeable to different countries during different periods. Which brings us to the end of today's discussion. Thanks for watching this video. Let's continue discussing in the comment area below and I will see you God willing in the next video. Until then, goodbye.